Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow. Shut up, Rami. <laughs> Rami, <laughs> was was on, Rami was under, bro. Rami blew zero. Rami was there, there was nothing. There, he was <laughs> just tired. Rami has passed the drug test. Rami, <laughs> Rami has passed the drug test. Because Hainsy has been sending shots. We're coming to the riff. Um, he also said, <laughs> well, rest cleary. Uh, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, rest cleary. <laughs> rest cleary. He also said something else, but we're not going to repeat it. <laughs> you know Silvio mean? Dante. 100%. So you don't know what it means. Boys. What it means to be number one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Maron, what are you doing? Hey, like, comment, subscribe, share. Do everything you got to do, man. It goes a long way, trust me. You like my shirt? Get yeah, straight into the episode. Welcome back to another episode of League Lads. I am Arflaxi with my two beautiful hosts, Fred and Sui. Before we move on to them, though, I just want to say what a f great weekend it was. Panthers won, Swannies won, Detroit Lions won. I had a great weekend. Boys, how was your weekend? So I didn't watch the Dogs game. How was, the, how was your weekend? I don't know. We didn't play because you want to start. Listen, Flaxi Listen, said to man, me. The Dogs won in the sense that. The mind games are well in force. Yeah, well, listen, Flexi, I said... Listen, man, how did you Clippers go again? <laughs> how they many, traded, poor George. How many first rounds hey, did you... Hey, season has... How, 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 much for, how many first rounds did you give up for poor George? Do you remember? <laughs> New season, bro. The when 21st we night. Da, 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 da. You wanted Do to cook. Do you remember <laughs> when you got cooked, lad? <laughs> Oh, right, listen. First round picks for SGA and <laughs> SGA to the. <laughs> oh, right, listen, Freddie. How would expressions roast the Clippers for him right now? Bro, this, this, you don't even need Poor to. Poor George, blood. <laughs> <laughs> we need an expression to Tissue roast. paper, blood. <laughs> uh, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode. I should episode. have that shot, blood. <laughs> welcome back to another episode of League Lads. Um, proudly sponsored by Char Chicken. If you haven't had your zhezh with the proper tum, that's going to get. Chest, oh, hair on your chest. I don't know what you're waiting for. Go ahead up the boys. Shout out to Chad and all their lovely team. I'm with Freddie. I'm with Flaxia. He, of course, we've already been introduced. But boys, finals footy is here. Um, I've been looking forward to this episode. Even though I didn't watch much footy this week. Just had, I attended the three-day wedding, by the way. Right? And I'm so exhausted from weddings. But I did get to see some highlights. I got to see some of your, your stuff, of course. Freddie's the um, highlight central. But bro, I'm excited for finals footy. I was slacking on the highlights this week, bro. But, but this week was like, I, I didn't really watch. I watched a bit of the Bulldogs exam and I knew we were going to lose. Right. Fielding a team like that, I know what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. But the, the finals footy is here and I am so excited because obviously this is the best of the best. This is quality versus quality. This is maybe one of the one or two teams will fade out in this phase. But I think all games are going to be so good. I think all the teams are up for it. Injuries, no injuries, whatever it is. Players returning like Cleary. Bulldogs getting some players back. I think it's going to be so good. I'm so excited. And for, bro, just quickly, before we get into all the teams, we're going to speak about the Bulldogs getting belted by Manly. And we're going to preview the Bulldogs, uh, sorry, by Cowboys. Cowboys. And then we're going to preview the Bulldogs Manly game. But NRL Bulldogs media team, this is for you. Um, you uploaded that video. I don't know what time it was yesterday. Maybe five, six, seven, whatever time it is. But I can tell you four minutes after that, I wanted to run. Or whatever, it was two, three minutes. I wanted to run straight through a slab. I wanted to run through the brick wall. Because that was an edit that brought tears to my eyes, a lot of passionate Bulldogs fans' eyes, goosebumps down everywhere you can think of. Um, just an unbelievable video. And yeah, this is, this is us now. This is what we're going to do. We're going to build on this. And I know a lot of Bulldogs fans were out there this week complaining. And even a lot of my friends like, ah, bro, we're going to get knocked out round one. Stop, pause. Be grateful for where we are. We never ever said, we, we said this with Winston. Look at us. Like, you can never believe where we are. You know what I mean? I'm now, just happy Flexi, to be here, bro. If it's Flex's team, I get it because he's tasted success. And to go down, like to lose two games in a row, how we've lost conceded, we've never conceded like that all year. For that to happen, it's a bit worrying. It'll be like, mm, mentality. Yeah. But just for us as Bulldogs fans, I'm very, very excited. I'm very, very um, interested to see what we do. And I trust in this team and I trust in what we've built all year. I don't think you can throw it away in two games or whatever it is. And if we do lose, like I told Max King, like you've said it before, as I'm happy. The progress is like unbelievable. So ahead of schedule, bro. Ahead of schedule. Shout out to the Bulldogs media team because all I wanted to run through with 15 brick walls, I, I, I wanted to go to the job site. That was such just, a mad video, bro. Because that was goosebumps. And that the was... critter narration, bro. I was oh, g'd up. Oh, yeah. That's, that gets you going because that's why you wake up and you want to watch. If you're having a sh day, watch the I know. And you'll just run through brick walls. But boys, first things first. Um, the Bulldogs lost to Manly. Uh, Cowboys. Cowboys. Sorry, I kept reading the um, the finals agenda. 
the Bulldogs lost to the Cowboys. A lot of players were arrested. A lot of players were suspended or uh, stood down by the NRL for HIAs. Matty Burden, Bronson Jerry, uh, Josh Adaka, who we will, sp- we will speak about in a bit in, in depth a bit later. Um, and we had Sua and Eli Clark come in. Um, we had, listen, man, for me, even Skelton was a late change, in, in, I think, on the day. Yeah. They pulled him out, which he would have been good for us. And um, I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't think he was injured or nothing. And I think if, if Serrado wanted to put the best lineup on, he would have put him on. But I think it was such a good opportunity to debut some two, two young kids that could potentially have a crack next year because of, you know, Skelton leaving. Wilson apparently on the outer. Now... You know, the out of class situation, you, you never know what can happen. These kids might have to play next year, and it's great that they got their first game out of the way. Now, they did get a bit bullied. They did hold their own, but they were getting hammered. Down that side, man. Hammered. And they were both on the same side, and I just felt like that was like, you know, that was a bit... Like, it was... It was, it was a bit like, planned, yeah? <laughs> like, it's like... It's like both of them on the edge. You go, bro. Like, the, now you know... Now the other team is like, okay, this is an easy decision. Go to Critter. But they did spam Critter side a lot. Um, Sexton really struggled defensively. Hinam Nuki was f- right. Yeah. I didn't really watch the game properly, so I- it's the edit for yeah. effing now. Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> At least they're all close together. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, um, <laughs> yeah but to give me a button, man. No. <laughs> um, he, yeah, was, he was, yeah, him and Didam were doing really well. But then whenever they went right, they scored because they got two kids plus Drew Hutchison. A lot of people were blaming Kikau. It's not his fault, in my opinion. When he, it's when you're in the halves and in the, in the, when you're in the back row, you're heavily reliant on the guy outside of you and, and the guy inside of you. The guy inside of Kikau was, you know, Hutchinson. Mm-hmm. And then the only outside is the kid on debut. He's a kid, bro. Yeah. And they, they got kid outside him as a kid. It's gonna be very hard to win. And I, and I love to describe Matt Burden in his team. Matt Burden is the engine, bro. If you take the engine out of a car, you have a rolling shell. You're not going nowhere. You can have a mad rolling shell cars, but the rolling shell's going 10 k's an hour if you push it down a hill. All right? Cars, you know what I mean? Skyline super rolling shells, they still go for a lot, but the yeah. day cars, they, they, they don't work. And without Matt Burden, we've won one game since he, which, since he joined. And the game against Newcastle. One game we've won. Without and him. Without him. Which is a crazy stuff. He's the engine in the car, bro. And he's a V12. Oh, no, 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 no. This, this guy is a J- 2JZ, a uh, twin turbo machine. <laughs> he's a 4G63, all uh, right? Roll, roll racing. Pistons, roll racing. Roll racing. Absolute 1,500 horsepower machine. All right? And when we don't have him, we are a completely different team. We can't he, get out of our end. He's, the, the, he's the one that makes up for the lackluster forwards in terms of go forward. They have heart, but they're, they're low, they're small, they're a small pack. But it's different when you're versing a big pack, you're going to get bullied, like no matter what. And we, we, get, manly, we still get bullied, but we played at the end manly of the day... And, and it was very disjointed, it was very open for them. Like after, after a certain point of the game, they just pounced on us. I'm telling you, that, that wasn't... I reckon that was probably the third worst... Like bully, like uh, we've had two more performances. We got bullied even more than this season. Than, than this season. The rooster, the second roosters game, and the 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 shark. The one, honestly, probably both sharks games. They pumped us in the middle, pumped us, but we still managed to win one of them because of Matt Burden's kicking. Because at the end of the day, when they have a good defensive set and they're f- they put in so much effort to have a good defensive set and keep us inside our 20, 30 meter line, and it all goes to waste. All that energy gets spent. That momentum goes away when Matt Burden kicks the ball from the 20-meter line to the 15-meter line. It's a different story when you're turning the, the, the position over, you're turning momentum over. When Will, Will Kennedy, like when you're kicking to a fullback and they have to come back and go and then come back and go, come back and go. That's what we work off. We work off that momentum, bro. So, but I, I, I didn't even, like, it didn't bother me that we lost. The only thing, the only factor was the defense. Now, I don't know, like we yeah. said, is this Ciro's master, mastermind where he bro, told I, kick out and... and is it the boys just listen, just let it, you know? Let no, it. no, no, no. He's not <laughs> telling them let them score points. But, no, of course. But he's giving them plenty of things that if they do get belted, they can turn around and say, brother, we didn't have the one, two, three, four, five. Plenty of reasons. Yeah, and now that and it G's them up before the final. Sometimes you need to wake up. All right, and at the end of the day, that we're going to get a lot of players back. We just came off two big losses. We're going to have a packed out A court, and it's going to be a lot of fun to play there. And they're going to be G'd up because I think 
So Raldo knows, I just have a feeling this team plays better when they're the underdog. Yeah, 100%. When and, I, and he's creating that underdog, that underdog thing. I reckon we won't even be favourites this week, even though we're at home. I think we are favourites. Because we're at home only. Dollar eighty to $2, dollars, I think. I was, yeah. so one of the boys just... It was $1.90 when it opened, when and, then it was, and then you guys went down to $1.80. Yeah, because, yeah, you know... The uh, Shabab are putting money on it. Yeah, 100%. No, nah, but like, look, we've, we've the, we've, let's, let's get into the Bulldogs mainly game that's going to gonna happen. The this, Cowboys played very well, this, by the, the way. The Cowboys but were man, unbelievable. But, uh, like, the I, Cowboys I said, were playing like a team that is ready for the finals. So I've got to put my hand up and say my bad because I did call them frauds this season. Yeah, we and all look did, where they are. Honest. But look where Newcastle is as well. Adam but, O'Brien almost got sacked a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. He's playing finals now because of KP. We'll speak about him. But for me, this, this game is going to be very, very important to. It won't define our season. Of course it will because you stop playing footy if you lose. But for me, it's very important to see how they challenge in the finals. Yeah, this is the That's cherry my on top. Thing. If, yeah. we, if, this is, if we play good here... It's a long way for a lot of teams, bro. Of course not Penrith and Melbourne because they're unbelievably better. But just the, to be in that sort of, sort of world, that realm, that finals footy, getting all the boys around, that Max King, Jacob Kiraz, all these players that haven't really played finals footy, to, for them to experience this... And to look at that crowd on, on Sunday and realise, bro, like, they already know how much they get backed up, 100%. They say it in every interview, like, the fans were unbelievable. But I think when it comes to, like, bro, I, I opened tickets today to buy tickets. And the tickets opened at 10 a.m. for members, right? Members, right? There was 8,000 people before me. I, I literally logged in at 10.01, like, one minute. There was 8,000 people. So you can only imagine how much fans are going to turn out for this game. And they've waited so long for this, guys. It's been eight long years. And I was going to say, I would almost be surprised that you guys knew what to do. You know, eight long years, you know, September. You, know, it's, you guys didn't know what happened. It's different. And listen, if the Bulldogs go out there and get blown away, I'm, I'm not surprised because you're still a very inexperienced side. And Manly's like, a great team. And Manly's a great... Manly has one of the best halfbacks of our generation, bro, Daly Cherry Evans. As long as... Well, many people don't want to agree with that, but it's... The well, like I said... He's we, unbelievable, bro. Like, that game against us... That 40 20, he did. I still remember it, bro. It killed. When I was at the stadium and he kicked it, and I was like, oh, yeah. Like, this guy torments me as a Queenslander. It's all, every time, it's just this guy, this guy, this guy. I don't fear Tommy, right? I, I, of course I do, but it's that DCE guy that kills me, bro. And their forward pack's amazing and everything, but you take DCE out, it's a big problem for them. So, yeah, but I think it's going to be a good game, good experience for the Bulldogs, good challenge for them to see where they're going to end up in the next couple of years. Shout out to Luke Brooks. By the way. Bro, he's been phenomenal. Wallah. No, 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 no. This is first, a, this is no, his first finals game, finals game bro. In his life. He's played two hundred and something games. But I think bro. he's for, for on that fact. I think he's been very good this season. He's been bro. mad this he's year. He's been good for them. I think perfect partner for DC. Yeah. But bro, for you to go from getting awarded the barbecue for your loyal services at the West Tigers, Wooden Spooners, to playing in a series, a final series with DC, Tommy Turbo, Jake Trebojevic, Tom, uh, Alakwatu, all these gun players. I mean, you got to congratulate him, bro. He deserves it, Wallah. He's copped a lot of stick in his life. I know. He didn't I'm deserve so to, glad for him, bro. He never deserved to be the number one. I think he deserved to be the number two. And he's the Silvio. He's, the, he's, he's enjoying he's it, bro. The he's the Silvio Dante, right bro. He's the Silvio Dante. 100%. You don't know what it means. Boys. What it means to be number one. <laughs> 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 but I miss that show so much. Um, Flaxi, I want you to give, me, give your opinion on the Bulldogs and Manly game. What do you think happens? We're going to preview all the games now. We're going to go through all the games. But we'll start off with the Bulldogs and Manly game. Dogs, Manly. It, it, I reckon that's the toughest. I reckon that's the toughest game of all of them. You know, you guys versed a few weeks ago. You guys lost, I believe. Mm. Um, lost by a lot as well. Look, yeah. Got, it was 12, but it was a lot more than 12. Yeah. I, I think it's the toughest game of the finals. I think it's the game that everyone's going to be watching because the loser of Panthers Roosters versus the winner of that game. Uh, so. It's at Acor and the crowd's going to be very Bulldogs heavy, which is obviously a big, you know, up for, for the dogs. So it, it can't, it, there won't be a blowout. I'll be very, very surprised if there's a blowout. But I think because of the dogs' home ground advantage, I think you guys just get over. I think if we lose, it will be a blowout. But if we win, it will be close. Yeah. And that doesn't really make sense. But they, the way they play is like, they can just put on points like, but... Like, the thing is, in my opinion, they had their best game against the Dogs. I think yeah, that was their better. best game all season. I think they played better than the, against... Like, they've been in some top 10s. Like, they beat you guys. Yeah. And I honestly think they were better against us than they were against you. They literally completed at, like, 90 95%. Um, yeah, they're firing at all cylinders, and um, they're a really good team, man. I, I, I'm not going to be ashamed if I lose to them. I think they're a good team. I'm surprised that we're in, even really above them. Not many people had 
Like they're a better team on paper and in Manly Manly's team at the start of the season, we, we were calling top four easy. Yeah. Mm. Like they were and then they were playing very some good footy. So Well I, I did say to it you, is a season I did of twenty seven rounds. At the beginning of the or at not the beginning, a few weeks ago, like would you be upset or do you think it's a disappointing season? You know, for you guys. So I think it's more you know, it's the ball's not in your hands. It's more in Manly's to like not mess it up. Yeah, uh, like the pressure's on them. I reckon the only reason the pressure would be on us is because they got some experience of, old of all the noise we made as fans, and the media was making noise because we were playing so good, and it's the fact that we're at home. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, like, I think if I think if we lose, we won't be that disappointed because we're exceeding expectations, in my opinion. And, but if Manly lose, then it's going to be... If Manly lose in the first round, then it's going to be a bit of a disappointment because they did spend big. They did re-sign a lot of these players. And I feel like the expectation for them is to go past the Bulldogs here. They've got a very ex- finals experienced team. They've got Daly, Daly Cherry Evans and Tommy Turbo and Gerbo. They've got, re- they got rep players everywhere, bro. And if they don't make it past the Dogs in the first round, I'm going to be absolutely... If we win, I'm going to be absolutely stoked because I think that's a... It's a, big, a, it's a everyone. big confidence booster to, to beat Tommy, Jake, DCE, Brooks. Oh, I know he doesn't play finals, but to beat that team in finals, bro, it's a, it's a different... It, people don't understand. People say like, oh, yeah, we finished this. Finish. But when it comes to finals, because we're all like different. Like Brisbane Penrith is the biggest example. Brisbane, Ezra Mann was Kylian Mbappe. He had a hat-trick in a final. And then they've, they haven't played finals ever, that team. When did they play, ever play finals? Yeah. The only one that played finals was Reynolds, but or probably a few other players, but Nathan Cleary wakes up. Fisher Harris, Leota, Croydon, Toto. Like these players, that's why I always say if we beat Manly this week, which, uh, listen, uh, I'm going to tip the Bulldogs. I'm going to say the Bulldogs win because I'm a Bulldogs fan and I really, really believe that the crowd's going to get them over the line. But if we, like, if we do beat them, it's a big shock for me. And at the same time, it's a bit like, I think everyone has to be careful. And I don't say that in cockiness. But I feel like if you give these young, these, this young team that, cocky, that confidence, it, I don't know what could happen. It could be very damaging. Imagine Penrith. We play Penrith and Penrith struggled to score for 50 minutes. Or You say imagine, but the only time you're going to be playing us is in the ground. <laughs> no, no, but... I, what no, have you, no, no, no. you rest clearly this week? No, but... What, yeah, you beat them without them before. No, but listen. I'm just saying hypothetical. Like, like Penrith have won all these years, right? The mentality might drop a bit, but the Bulldogs' confidence might be there. I'm not saying this is going to happen at all. I but mean, we versed earlier in the year. Yeah. We, you, you lost by six points. Yeah, and if you struggle in a Drew final... Hutchison. Yeah. <laughs> Away. But yeah, my point is, like, if you struggle against us, it's like the underlo- underdog factor. It's different. Then, then I don't know what world you go into, bro. So yeah, I'm very, very excited for that. Freddie, what do you think we win? I don't show win? up to the next week's podcast. <laughs> 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 we get the jersey to do the editing. <laughs> hey, Ed- Baron. <laughs> Freddie, talk to me. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm so nervous because it just... My... Every... Thing in my brain is saying man is gonna win this game. Off the top they of your head, have, give me a prediction, bro. They, I need got, it. they got the recipe to beat us, bro. They got great forward pack. They're still pretty mobile. They got a lot of tough players. They got flair everywhere. They got experience seven. Like they got a six that's gonna be hungry to play finals. They're perfect like, for they're finals. They're a better team, man. They're, they're just perfect. a better team than us. But my heart and just this 2024 thing, bro. <laughs> like, like. Fuck, it might be real. <laughs> bro, if it's real, oh, if it's real, bro, Winston's going to get a statue. You know that, yeah? <laughs> Winston's and, getting and a statue. Listen, at the end of the day, man, everybody's expecting us to lose this game. Of course. Just like nobody expected us to actually win the comp this year because we were sh- And now, we might, if we sneak and win, then we're probably going to have a demolished like Roosters, Roosters team. team. All right. And, and although I think we would absolutely lose to them full strength. 100%. It's, you can only beat who's in front of you, right? Of course. And then Vermeer versus Melbourne in Melbourne. Do you know who the team that has the best record in Melbourne? The Bulldogs. The Bulldogs. And we versed them there early in the year. And even Craig Bellamy said we were the better team. So what's... I need and you, we had Drew Hutchison. I need your two predictions. And then we versed them in the finals. <laughs> and, and then we beat them for Nathan, revenge for 2012. Nathan Cleary's probably going to be injured. I reckon someone should just get a nine and just tap this <laughs> Mary Fowler, Mary Fowler. Mary, what if Mary Fowler... Give me your prediction if for... Both, I'm gonna both, go, both ways, both ways. Let's be real. I'm going to go Manly 1 to 12, bro. Like, okay, you want to give me a score? Manly 20, uh, I'll go 24 21. Okay, I'll start 24 20. Okay, what's the Bulldogs win score prediction? Not, you know what? If we lose, it will be like 34 16 to Manly. If we win, 
will be Dogs 16-10. Something like that. Yeah. Tight game. All right. Well, I'm going to go for my predictions. I think the Bulldogs win by two points. Right? And it's gonna be just a it's gonna be a crazy game. I'm gonna go sixteen fourteen, and then I think if Manly win, I think it is a bit a bit more of a bigger score. I think it's twenty eight to twenty. Can, can Critter please kick in this game? Yeah, he's been good. Because huh? he kicked one goal last week, and I wasn't. I was like, whoa, seventy nine percent. Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't think he kicked that many goals, and he kicked pretty damn well. And he boys. kicked it right on, down the down the sticks, bro. Shout out to Critter. Shout out to Birdo. Shout out to Winston. Actually boys, hanging out listen, with them man, both. <laughs> listen, Walla boys, whatever. I don't know if any of them are watching this, but whatever happens, bro, we love this team. We'll never forget this team, bro. They've got us a lot of happy moments. The streets won't forget. A lot but... of yous won't understand, bro. We've been down in the dumps for a long time, and. We don't even care if we lose finals because we've been so sh- the last five years that it's so good to... It's refreshing, man. Well, that's refreshing. It's so good to actually be here. And I was like, come on, Sharks, please. I just want a home final. Walla, thank you so much to the Sharks let's, players. Let's get into the Sharks, right? What a, what a bunch of legends, bro. I'm <laughs> going, like, listen, man, I'm going for you and Manly if we lose. <laughs> listen, let's get into Melbourne and Sharks because that's the... I think that's the first game of the week, right? Sharks, we skip Melbourne, the queue of the Bulldogs game, but... Sharks, Mel- uh, Melbourne Sharks at Melbourne. Uh, big game. Big test for both teams. These games are always uh, very tight, right? If Correct me if I'm wrong. In the past couple of years, when it comes to finals, I just remember P- Cameron Smith and Gallen having dramas Sharks with each other. Sharks actually won the last matchup, but the ref was terrible. Bad, ter- bad I referee. I think they won the past two. Yeah, they? They were Didn't ref- the Sharks ref- beat ref- Melbourne in the grand final? Yeah. They did, yeah. And that's a, uh, for Foyda! For Foyda! What, a, what for are Foyda. the best... One of the best... One of the best, maybe the best grand final try ever, considering the context. That was unbelievable. That, I, when I saw that, I'm like, that's the best try I've ever seen. He he's someone cheat. that doesn't get talked about anymore, bro. Absolutely like, he, not. He a, was the best prop of this generation. He's I'm unbelievable. Be with you, bro. Unbelievable guy. For, for a whole decade, in my opinion, if I had to pick anybody, he's from like 20, from like 2010 to the end to 2020, bro. That whole decade, I think Andrew Fafita was probably the best prop in the game. He was unbelievable. For, for and this is a guy. This is a guy that, you know. Signed for us, and you know, I had every reason to hate this guy, and yeah. I did. I wasn't even mad. I wasn't even mad when that happened, bro. Yeah, I didn't. I was because like, listen, man, like, I, what a player, bro. What yeah, a bro player. We had I don't him, know why I wasn't even mad. I think I was like, man, that's a lot of money for a prop. <laughs> it's all right. I'll let you go. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you go, and then he does that next year. Right? Yeah, he deserves it, man. What a player, but man. Nah, listen, uh, Manly and the Sharks. Freddie, talk to me. What do you think is gonna happen? Give me your predictions. Man, these are the games that I look at Melbourne and I look at the forward pack and I'm like, this is where I've been saying all year, when I put you at ninth, <laughs> but there's an re- there's a, there's a, there's a alternate universe where all the games that they just scraped by, they lose them all and they finish out of the eight, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, but it's a shout out to Jerome Hughes. And I think, wow, what a, a player. I think in the finals, your star players are the ones that get you home. And the best player on the field, best two players on the field get you home. And I think the two best players on the field play for the Melbourne Storm. I think, I think Pappenhausen, I think... Is he back? He play, he, he's back, Pappenhausen? No, no, he's back. Okay, yeah. yeah. And Jerome Hughes, I think they're going to do some damage, man. I think I'm going to pick them. But my football brain and everything that I know about rugby league tells me forward pack, most important thing in finals. And... This Sharks forward pack is a lot better than the Melbourne forward pack. I'll be honest with you. But the Melbourne forward pack just gets the job done. Like the Bulldogs. I don't mm. understand how. But they I, get it done. Like, like how they're this good, but they, they just get the job done in the big games. Now, they really did struggle with the forward pack last time around. But the referee was also really bad. I think they've... That a fair ref, I think the Storm win this one, yeah. You think, but Nick, you think Nick Hines will be able to control, like, to this, take control of this game, or it's going to be kind of hard for this him? Is, this, is, this is a big game. People, this, is not, this, is not Nick, this is not Nico's game to take control of, bro. This is Braden's game to take control of. That's straight, I'm, I'm just being straight with you. I think this is, this is Braden Trindle's... You think the eyes are off Nico now? No, no, no the eyes are always going to be on Nico, <laughs> but I don't think Nico's going to be running the show, per se. I think Nico's going to be looking to get his team to score some points. And I think he's going to be trying his best on defense. And I think he's going to, it's going to be on him to get his team points, but mm-hmm. it's going to be on Trindle and the Ford pack to get into a position to, for to Nico get, Hines to get points. Yeah. 
They can put on points in a half in a, in, a, in an yeah, absolute shucks, shucks blink of an eye. Scoring machines, bro. Britain, Nicaragua, and Jesse Rain, and that, that the thing is, man, and the reason why I just I'm a bit worried about Melbourne. A lot of people think they're going to win the comp. I see that uh, they just get it done anyway. But Nick Meany is a target man for any attack. That's just my. I, I, he's a glaring weak point in the in the Melbourne defence, bro. And that when you have big centers like Cronulla do, and out. like Ido and Ramian, bro, like Ido's been unbelievable this like, year, dude. Too. Like they're gonna be running at this guy, man. Yeah, they're, they're gonna, gonna target him, bro, and that's gonna. They, I think that's what they're gonna look at. Team, man, they got a really big team. The Sharks. especially that bench, bro. That bench that, and dude, that bench. <laughs> Melbourne's, but the thing is, it's just Ty- Ty- Tyron Wishart. He's insane. Yeah, he's in like And this. Atkinson is insane. It's so hard to pick a winner in this What's game. What's that Asian guy's um, name in basketball that had like that crazy season? Oh, Lin. Jeremy Lin, bro. <laughs> Jeremy Lin. Lin <laughs> Sanity, bro. Lin Sanity. Lin Sanity, yeah. Lin bro. What a name. <laughs> hey, that's what I wish I was doing this year, bro. Bro, wish I was Lin Sanity, man. But the thing is, is like if something happens to like and you have to throw someone on, the both teams have solid utilities, man. Yeah. And look, we haven't seen the lineup yet because it's Monday, but I just, it's so hard to pick this game, but I'm just going to go with the experience and, and where the best, like, it's so tight. Tell me your score prediction. I'm going to go Melbourne 22 to Sharks 18. Taxi. I think it's going to be f- Melbourne by like four. Taxi. Yeah, this, this, this is a tough game. I, I like it's that It's a prediction. tough game, I think, because Melbourne have it at home. I, it's, it's hard to not back down a... a Home game, a home crowd advantage. 100%. But with with Melbourne or with Sharks as well, they they've beaten them twice this year. Yeah, so they, they beat them at Magic. Well, no, they beat Roosters at Magic Ground. They Roosters beat them the week before, and then they beat them at home. And then there was the dodgy ref. This could but play in. This the, could go either way. But finals experience, you have got to give it to Melbourne. This could of, play in the hands of Melbourne when they say like, "Oh, you beat us twice," and then like, boom, like Penrith. Yeah, like power. Penrith did a power. Yeah. And, um, yeah. What do you think? Like, like nobody's really harping on about the Sharks owning them, you know. But yeah. it's the fact that. They just match up. They know so, what to do. They match up so well into them, and they're they're a finals team, bro. On paper, like in terms of the, how big their wingers are, how big their backs are, how big their forward pack is. They have a good six. They have a good seven. They got like like, uh, and they, they got a great hooker, man. Brady's a gun. But they have a good team. But uh, the, I think it's the the hookers for each team are going to be the Harry ones. Harry Grant and Brady. They're going to be the ones that break the game open. If ha- whichever one steps up the most. Because Brady had an absolute blinder against them last time from memory, and it's gonna they it's gonna be on them, and it's gonna be on the sevens, man. What do you think? Do you think I I, I see an upset in this, bro? I see Sharks nicking it. I don't know. Yeah, how. I think they I, can. I, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. I, I if think they that did. I think everyone's gonna look at this week and focus on the Bulldogs and Manly game. They're gonna say Penrith's gonna beat Roosters. They're gonna say Cowboys are gonna dust Newcastle. But I think this is the game that they're gonna be like, oh yeah, you know, nah, Melbourne, Melbourne, Melbourne experience. Uh, and I think Cronulla will probably just get it done off that, especially beating them twice this year. It might be a good one. Uh, I, I don't think there's going to be a big score in this game at all. Yeah. I think it's going to... Under gonna, 20. I think 14 to 12. Full-time? Melbourne full, win? Full-time Melbourne win. And that could be off a two-point field goal. Or, or anything. Uh, from like, who? Just the early from two Melbourne, points. From Melbourne, I think... Yeah, but from who on Melbourne's going to kick a two-point field goal? Jerome Hughes, bro. He's going to just turn into a freaking daily uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I, Does he have a good field goal on him? Oh, Boys, uh, let's speak about your team, bro. Because Haynes has been sending shots. We're coming to the riff. Um, he also said, Rest Cleary. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rest Cleary. Rest Cleary. He also said something else, but we're not going to repeat it. <laughs> You'll be able to see the you know what? caption here. Like you, know what? you know what? Before we get into this, I want to give Bear Chaos Sports a, a shout out, Ola. Because he posted a photo, and I just remember the Hensi and I remember the content world. He shared a photo that he went, visited every single game. And listen, me and B- BKR and, and yourself, and you probably have had a lot of back and forth with him in the DMs. What a fan, cuz. What a fan, bro. Honestly, I give you a lot of respect, my brother. And I love how you support our show and you watch our show. So I know you're going to see this. I don't have to tag you in it. But just your efforts, bro, in a Titans team that was very underwhelming this year, I respect it. And voila, if we had more, if we had like more of you, the game will be a different, will be in a different world, bro. So shout out to BK, uh, BKR Sports. Someone who's very passionate. And um, yeah, that's my 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 say on BK. I love Blaze, bro. What, bro, I just what feel an like, absolute legend, man. Well, like, uh, like we clash uh, with Manchester City and Liverpool, and we clash, but he's just a legend for we the We always game, have bro. good arguments, like, yeah, like yeah. debates, healthy you know? debates. There's nothing and, wrong. And, with and the best thing about the best thing about BK sport is you will never win. The, <laughs> the argument will never end. <laughs> Nate, he will never concede. The fact sheets come he out will, and everything. He will never concede. Never, right? never. 
he will never. Uh, he's way on the highway, <laughs> and I'm the same. And so I'm, I love what, it. That's why our, so we both end up on the highway. We just have to, we just have to agree to disagree every <laughs> single time. But I love him. He's the. And you're right. If, they, if there were more fans like him, the game would be so much better. Hundred percent. And it's not like he goes to the game and just watches. He goes to the game and he bangs the drum and he screams full mouth. Oh, as wide open as a like, mouth Interviews can possibly after be. as well, bro. Interviews like, are, he's pumping grinding. content. He he's he's, doing he's thing, been doing man. it for for nearly a decade, bro. I respect his hustle. Maybe bro. even more than a decade. Yeah. If if I can give one person props for look, I mean I've been to every game except one this year, it would be him because Yeah, I, like I, when I, I Yeah, but one. But one. He but went one. to everyone. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> next year uh, next year plan to go to all of them. Uh, tell me tell me about your team. Tell me about Penrith and what you think's gonna happen. Uh, look. You think Nathan Cleary plays? So, I've been harping on. The, I've been harping on for the past few weeks. I've been saying, look, I, Panthers need to rest Cleary. It's a non-elimination game. If we can keep him fit for one extra week, that's it's good. It's great. Um, and then someone said to me, they were like, oh, play him for forty minutes. Get him in the fitness for the, for the, the next, next week. few weeks. And I was like, oh, that might be a good plan. So I think. We do start him or we bring him in 20 minutes on or whatever we do, but we bring him in. And if we're doing well enough where we can take him off, we take Come him off man. straight away. You can, you can tell which one's the Clippers fan here, bro. <laughs> Brother, Someone's you, rest managed, managed players, injuries. <laughs> you rest players so that they're ready for finals. Finals are not where you rest players. Finals <laughs> are where you play them no matter what percentage they're at. If they can walk... If they can breathe, walk, no, but, talk. Uh, but you know when you're sick. Hear... You know when you're sick as a kid, and you're. Do you need to go to the hospital? No, you're going to school. That's what my mum used to say, yeah. and my dad used to say. Yeah, if you. When it comes to finals, if you don't need to go to the hospital, you're fucking playing football, bro. Yeah. Well, look, listen. I think that what he's saying is a smarter thing because you get to get him in after. Yeah. When he's no, and then you better. put him in a. You throw him in a game where he hasn't played in five weeks, and it's a must win if they lose. That's very true as well. But right. I like what he's saying. And the he, way he, that he, they're the... going. The way that they've been going the last few weeks, they could genuinely lose to this Roosters team that are missing four players. Four big players. Yeah, you just haven't been the best. Yeah, look, they have a... They... You, you, if you guys were playing well, yeah, but you're not playing well. <laughs> you're literally just scraping by against every team that you've heard. Yeah, they... Whether it's South, whether it's the, the Titans at home, you're scraping by. Your <laughs> attack is suffering, bro. Yeah. Oh, attack has been... I mean, what? It's been bad. Three, three intercept passes... In three weeks, so like our attack's been yeah. And Schneider is not playing well, bro. I, I prefer him over Jack Cole, though, in my opinion. Yeah, but the thing is, is no, anyone Sullivan. you put there is not playing well right now. <coughs> yeah, you uh, might as well throw Dane Laurie back in. I mean, he's a bit rusty, and Nathan Clear will come back and save you as he always does. And not like I, not that I think he's a shit that he's need saving, but right now that's probably where he's at. And it's not really working how he's wanted. wanted and to look, work. if you need a hero, <laughs> ever since the Melbourne game, like. We actually haven't been full strength. We haven't had... We didn't have Mitch Kenny for one week. We didn't have Liam Martin for another week. Sorensen had been out Is everyone back this week? Obviously, if Cleary I, I plays... I think if, if Cleary comes back, I think everyone's back uh, and give healthy. Me, and give me your predictions. Aim shots at Hainsey. Look, <laughs> with... All right, I'll do one with Cleary and without Cleary. Right. With Cleary, I think it's 13 plus. I think Panthers dominate because... Yeah, they I just wake everyone up. They wake everyone yeah, up with he, this performance. Well, with the stats, random stats, guys, shout out to you. He ever... I think the past, like, seven times he's come back off the injury, he hasn't lost the first game back. So... And, and they're also... Roosters are also one of... And nine, one win, 19 losses... Against the... Against, against Melbourne Panthers and Penrith. 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 Against Tigers Melbourne have Penrith. a better record than that. Um, so... it's just Penrith. Yeah. Yeah. The Chook Pen, man. So, yeah. Um, with Cleary, I think, <laughs> we, I think we win. I think we're fine. Without Cleary, it does bring in that sort of crookedness with uh, form we have had. But I still think we get by. I think it will just be a closer game. Yeah. So score prediction that, quickly. That, score yeah. prediction with Cleary. You can, you can change. You can have one later. It's fine. Yeah. But like just now, what's your um, with Cleary, I think it would be like twenty-eight to sixteen. Without Cleary, eighteen to twelve. Well, with Cleary, I'm going like I'm in the range of like forty to like eight. Forty to eight. Yeah, forty in to a finals forty game. to ten. Yeah. <sighs> Dude, Look. the Roosters are massively, massively undermanned right now. Oh, absolutely. You're playing them, uh, they're playing you at away, and their points, which comes from Sam Walker in all of the tough games, that's all gone now. And I think genuinely that your attack will be firing if Nathan Cleary plays. Well, and I think that's been our problem. Our defense, in my opinion, hasn't it's been... still been good. Yeah. It's still been good. And if we put the defense pressure on Sandon Smith, I feel like he'll crack. 
In finals, like, he'll crack, in my opinion. You guys are a different beast in finals, and so are they, but not against yous. And I think I'm genuinely thinking with Cleary, it's going to be like a big scoreline. And, that's, and, I, and I feel bad for saying that because I know it would be a lot closer if Roosters were at full strength, but at the end of the day, the reality of the situation is they're not. If they are, if you don't have Cleary, I'm looking at the range of like 16 to 8. I think your defense will still hold strong, but the attack, like I think your defense, regardless of whether Nathan's there or not, is going to be pretty good. Um, just It's just Tungo. Yeah, Tungo and Taruva, like they're the weak links. I think I, I think, genuinely I think, think Paul when, when the actually game had speed, the when the games I think Paul I think he had the worst game yeah he had uh, a bad game a uh, very bad game against the Titans but but he was his first game back in a long time right uh, so boys what's your, what was your prediction uh, with Cleary forty to eight without Cleary sixteen eight both I'm gonna go with Cleary thirty to twelve um, without Cleary I'm gonna go I'm gonna go the way they're playing now Penrith I'll probably go eighteen to twelve. Yeah, uh, Roosters way. Ooh. Yeah, I think I believe in the Roosters. Because, bro, yeah. I, because I tell you one thing, right? I know they're depleted, and I know whatever, whatever. But I just see them like I just see them have points in them. Like Teddy, Kiri, Dom Young's coming back now. We might score our own try. We don't even know, right? But I just see I don't know, man. I don't know. I just feel like they love being and like Fred said last week, they love being in this position where, ah, we're resting. We have a lot of players that are injured with the underdogs bang. Um, so that's my take on it. And boys, last game before we get into the week, that's that was Cowboys Newcastle. Please, Newcastle win, Walla. Walla just, for, just for the vibes. Walla for Dan, Walla, for the vibes. I'm going to be a, I'm, I'm, Walla, I'm being serious. I'm, I'm, I think it's going to be the Knights. Really? Like, honestly? Yeah, like, like, like genuinely. No, no clickbait, like, like, like no, general. No, no, like, genuinely, I, I just have, you know when you have a feeling? It's like, yeah. I, don't think a, I don't think they're a better team than the Cowboys at all. But they're, without a doubt, a tougher team with, up with Mongrel. And they've actually played... They've actually defended really well. Honestly, bro, since the game, Panthers that, game. Bro, that game on the weekend, their defense was unbelievable, bro. Since the Panthers game, bro. They've been good. They've, been, they've actually been a good team. And I genuinely think that they will cause an upset here because I don't think that the, the, the Cowboys forwards are going to be able to hold Newcastle. In terms of toughness, in terms of yardage. In ter- Ponga, like, you reckon Ponga can get him And I think, I the, think the best player in the... the, the I think Deedon and Ponga are... are a level above everybody else playing in this 100%, game. And 100%. It's gonna, but I think Ponga is going to be in a much better position to succeed just because of his forward pack. And I think they're going to really do some damage. And I think after last, after last year, Newcastle, I think it just... It helps when they're him. on a good run, it's really hard to it's derail pin- them. It's it really is, hard to it derail is. them. I just have a feeling, man, I'm not saying that the Knights are better. I think the Cowboys are a way better team. But you and think- I think, again, I think it's going to be... a. I, I, if, it's, if this is going to be a slog, if this is going to be an arm wrestle, oh, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm picking Newcastle. Yeah. And I think they know how to, how to knuckle down for this sort of stuff. And Get they results. had a bit of experience last year in doing so. And, I and think, shout out to them, bro. Well, like, and I think that game or two that they... I think they played one game against the Warriors last year. And this is, that's going to be the game that they got experience from. They learned their lesson and they're going to bring that into that game this year. Whereas the Cowboys, they missed the eight last year, right? From memory? Uh, yeah, 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 they did. yeah, like, yeah. They, all the frauds, bro. They're yeah, all yeah. Fraud. Um, yeah, and I just so uh, score uh, predictions. Well, I'm gonna go Newcastle. One to Shout 12. out to Dan. Newcastle, one to twelve. Um, uh, Flexi. Uh, look, I've been saying Cowboys have been frauds all year. I'm not gonna back down now. I'm sorry, Donny, man. I'm sorry, Donny. <laughs> yeah, Donny, I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jimmy. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, the boys. I think Cowboys get it done 13 plus, to be honest. That's just my man, take. When you got because this... if Newcastle was playing at home, I would literally tell you, I don't know, man. We might we might have a different conversation. I know, man. But they're playing at but Cowboys. I feel like they've turned into the Raiders. If I'm going to be honest. Yeah. The, the team yeah. that just get They in. just make everything hard. to. Every game has to be hard against Newcastle, except when we played them yeah, this year. Built it up. But I'm going to say <laughs> one thing. It's just, I don't know why. Don't, don't ask me why. It's just... Newcastle. It's just Newcastle, man. Every day they're fighting for survival there, bro. <laughs> Every day they're fighting for survival there, man. And I'm sure Townsville's bad, but... It's, Man, <laughs> they call it. It's Townsville. Uh, it's look at the name of it, bro. You just know it's gonna be a shit place. Townsville. <laughs> this guy's gonna get us. Uh, it's like. Shit. 
from it's every like single... It's like Shelbyville, bro, all right? <laughs> What's better, Springfield or Shelbyville? <laughs> that's, a, that's a nuclear missile they're going to bomb. <laughs> nuclear missile incoming, bro. Um, but Newcastle, you sound that, you think of that, bro, what a mad place. Newcastle, you go there and it's a sh**. <laughs> for every day fighting for their life, bro. All right? I believe in toughness when it comes to NRL finals, bro. And I just think Newcastle are a tougher team. And, that, uh, and as a man that loves toughness, I'm going to pick the tougher team. That's fair. That's fair, bro. All right, boys. Um, well, that's that. That's our predictions on the, on the final series. Come on, Newcastle. Um, I think that's the... Man, I just want to say one thing. Out of all the games, that one forward? has the highest chance of an upset. Mm -hmm. I still don't think so. I think it's the I just have a feeling, team. man. But that's actually more of an upset because it's Newcastle that just got into the eight. Yeah. I, just, I just gotta die on that hill, bro. I What's I'm your score dying prediction? on that hill, bro. I will die on it. You gotta um, put up a number on it. Uh, 20, 20 to 10. Newcastle. 20 to 10 Newcastle. I'm gonna go 16 to 10. And I'm gonna go for Dan, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna Going go for Newcastle. 18, 18 16. <laughs> so I feed you the score. Char Char of the Week. There's only one I could think There's of, right? There's only one, bro. There's only one, right? We're all gonna agree. Corey Hosbra. The Big Red Machine. The big red. It's the Big Red. I don't know if we're trying to do him a song or something. But I really needed him in Belmore. But now he's staying at Canberra. And I'm very upset about that. But yeah, my charge of the week was just him kicking to himself because winning the game and, against and, those and, fraud and, dragons. And, and what? Ending the drag Ending season. Ending the dragon season, you absolute frauds. Right? These are frauds. Anyone wants to have a conversation, have a conversation. But that's our charge of the week. Is yours yeah, the same? I same, Yours the same. All right, boys. Shout out to Chad. Let's move on. Listen, Spoonball Shithouse Reef, right? <sighs> what the? Boys, did you go attend this game? So me did and you attend this game? Me and Winston attended this game. Full kit wanker. Full kit wankers, Absolutely. bro. You got to respect the hustle of these guys. Full kit wanker. Oh, I was at a game that's got nothing to do with them. So I was late. So I, I said to Winston, I was like, because what, the game started at 6. I'm like, oh, let's get there at 4.30, do content. It'll be great. So I, there's a lot of traffic for me to get home. So I'm like, all right, five. Five o'clock. I get home. My maps say five ten. I get to Campbelltown ten past six. I'm Never off my face. I, I I was having a mental breakdown in the car. People would have seen called mental health really? services. <laughs> I was on the Hume Highway going twenty kilometers an hour. Ah. I was ginning, bro. And <laughs> I was ginning, bro. <laughs> <laughs> my go, my go. He was ginning, bro. <laughs> No, I was pissed off, bro, and Winston, all he does is like, oh, you showed up on time, and I'm like, bro, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> You're here early. You're Winston, you're just on time, well, bro. I was watching the game, and me and him, we're just going back and forth, and we're, it's the shittest game of football yeah. I've ever watched in my life. Get, the Tigers bro. is getting built. And they, he missed all of the Tigers' tries, for sure. <laughs> um, shout out to Lockie Galvin. He, tried, he, was, he was the only one out there trying, bro. Oh uh, man, I was man. Why are they confiscating spoons? Yeah, they're they confiscating you, my spoons, bro. You bunch of pansies, bro. Straight out. What a fuck. Ah, that's an L, bro. Whoever yeah. thought of that? They they literally L had Secchi, bro. They had sec Seckies going through the crowd, picking up wooden spoons. Yeah, not even at the entrance. I know. It was bro. What a Bro, what are they gonna? They're gonna do me a spoon fight. Oh, I was, I, I think they're more wooden worried spoons, that people would just throw them on the wooden, field. Wooden spoons are not a weapon, bro. <laughs> Only when you're a kid. That's the and that's, <laughs> all right. Listen, my mom used to hit me on the on the thing with a wooden spoon. She tried that when I was like 13, bro. I was, I felt like I was the Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I feel, I felt like the Zohan. No, 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 no. I feel no pain. <laughs> all right. The, once, a, once a wooden oh. spoon didn't work. I felt like a boss, bro. And then, then she cracked out the belt. When it was the belt or the open palm, uh, palm fist, that's when the it belt. got dangerous. And then uh, sometimes, and then, man, once I caught the belt, bro, I felt like Paul Crew in the longest yard when he caught the baton, bro, the police baton from Captain <laughs> Canella. Yeah, and then, and then, and then the brick. <laughs> and the BB gun. No, I, and for me, it was like, I caught the belt and it was like a slight feeling of, like, oh my God, I did it. I'm a beast. And, and then like, Two seconds later, it's just the belt comes back and the hand comes across and, you know, you're done for. Yeah, so, it's even so, worse. so Parramatta officially ruined our season because I was very looking forward no, to No, 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 ruined our season. Uh, he, he nearly, they prevented no, they, us from having the best season ever. Yeah, sorry, yes, sorry, my bad, my bad. See, Fred, this is why I love you and this is why you love me. You got my bad. You're but, not good with words, bro. No, nah, I'm not at all. This is what happens when you He's get He's not old. a wordsmith. This is what happens when you He's get to 40. Sheet. And 41 and 42, you know what I mean? Nah, but um, 47. Listen, listen, I don't know what the hell happened to the Tigers, bro, but 
Tigers are getting Mon apparently getting Montoya. They got Royce Hunt. They're looking good, right? Uh, Freddie, I want to speak about something before because I've got to leave. I want to speak to you about something, yeah. right? And this is the topic that's going to be trending. Should have spoken about it at the beginning. Uh, Josh Araka, um, someone who we dearly love and we look up to, and someone who we respect a lot, someone who follows the page, and someone who's helped us grow, honestly, as a as a page, as a podcast. Um, even when I've seen him before we started this, such a nice guy, humble guy. Um, but just the news that's coming out now with a lot of um, about an uh, incident that his drug test failed. Um, listen, my opinion is, I always said this, I said this when Lechol did it, bro. This is such a common thing in NRL, right? And I'm not saying Fox is doing this. Um, we're hearing a lot of things from Gus Gould saying that it's a false test. It, the, the, the results weren't positive. So I don't know what to believe. And of course, I'm going to defend Josh Adekar. Number one, he's a Bulldogs player. Number two, he's someone that helped us grow. And number three, if you're going to start talking about everyone trying this substance, then you're going to be... If you're going to speak about people trying this substance in the NRL, it's pretty much everyone. Like, let's be real. And if you're, if you're honest with yourself, if you've been out in the scene and you, you know you've seen a rugby league player or you've seen or you've celebrated with... A lot of my friends have celebrated the Roosters Grand Finals. A lot of my friends have celebrated... Like, people that actually played... And I, you, you just know in NRL, it's a common theme. Wallah, it's so normal. And it shouldn't be. I hate it. I really don't like it. And... I just on behalf of Fox, I hope Fox is all right. I hope his family is all right. Listen, man, I'm going to no, I'll, I'll say two things. And I hope that if, of course, if it's what, he, what Gus is saying is true. Sorry, before you go. What Gus is saying is true. I hope that the media cop this because they're just quick to make a story out of it and target, especially that community. We had the trail. We had Cobo. We, had, we have things happening all the time with this community. And it's just, go, bro. Yeah, sorry, I spoke over you. I'm not, no, no, you're I'm good, bro. You. Go, on, go on, go on. Um, <laughs> I got a story for you, bro. Two, uh, but one thing I will say, I actually reckon Gus is right because the hearing the guy on the Daily Telegraph or Sydney Morning Herald, where the guy was explaining it, he said he was tested like two, three times, and one of them was positive. Now, bro, you know me. I'm as clean as a whistle, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't do no drugs. I never. I don't even really drink. Bro. Alhamdulillah. I don't even drink. It's not even a religious thing. I'm just not much of a drinker because I have to drink 15 beers to actually have fun, you know? <laughs> it just costs more, so I'm not going to do it. I'm a fat guy, bro, but yeah. I feel super fat when I go to Magic Round and have seven beers and I feel like I'm uh, 10 kilos heavy. Finished, yep. All right? If I drink, it's a CNC or a rum, rum and coke, you know what I mean? It's only on holidays where I drink. Long story short, I've got done for our drink driving, not done, but the first thing they blow, I'm on my peas, bro. All right? I don't know what the hell, I, I don't know what the hell, it's happened two times, I got a false positive drug test, alright, and I got a, and I got done for alcohol, blood, having a blood alcohol level above zero, you know what, I, I didn't even drink nothing, I went came back from my birthday party, you know what I had, yeah. too much tiramisu, <laughs> and, the, and the cops were laughing, but I got the first, the first test was 0. .006, <laughs> or 0005, yeah, like yeah. nothing, but it's more than zero. And they took me into the thing and the guys, and, the, and I blew, and I blew like 0. 000, like Again. One. Oh. And, and, and he's like, so it's more than zero. But the cop let me off when he, because I'm like, I'm so confused. And he's like, did you eat cake? And I'm like, yeah, I had a lot of cake. Because my, my mate's mom just kept giving me cake. And I'm like, <laughs> what am I going to say no? And that's what made me blow over. You know what I mean? But if the first, and now I got a false positive drug test, I don't do nothing. But the, sometimes the tests are faulty, some, whatever, I don't know. The human error, bro. Shit, shit happens, happens, Not even yeah. human error, just shit But happens. they take you into the thing and they do another drug test. Or they take you back to the station and they do another drug test. And then those ones are the definitive ones. If the, I'm just saying, Gus is saying it's, it's false and it's not positive. And it was, he's driving home after captain's run. You know what I mean? Like what? You know what I mean? Like it, it, it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. Uh, but look. Yeah, it just does. It seems fishy. And as someone that has had a false positive drug test and has watched a ton of RBT, <laughs> all right, Rami, <laughs> Rami, <laughs> was, uh, Rami was under, bro. Rami blew zero. Rami was there, was, there was nothing. There, he was just tired. Rami has passed the drug test. Rami, <laughs> Rami has passed the drug Rami test. Rami is bro. the drug test. <laughs> Rami invented drug tests, bro. All right. Listen, man, if Rami can pass. That guy could get into the White House if he wanted to, bro. Yeah, if you passed that the end drug of the day, test. Rami passed. But anyways, <laughs> look, I've what a false positive test ended up having ended up being zero. Like mm -hmm. they're like on your way home. You know what I mean? I 
and at the end of the day, you can test positive for the first one anyway and po test positive for the uh, test negative on the, the second, second one, one, the lab one, you know what I mean? The lab one is what matters. And the fact, and my point is, he's saying one of the tests was positive. The first test could have been positive and the lab one could have been negative and his story is nothing. But this manuk has run the story. Yeah, so this story now is, is causing outrage. And, of course, and dude, of course. After the Bulldogs, eight years. Yeah. Eight years, NRL Bulldogs. Haven't been in the finals, right? Loud fans. A lot of people targeting our fans, bro. Like we were saying in the, in the interview we had before. Our fans, our people are saying, oh, you got humbled because you celebrated, right? Loud fans. I'm not saying it, they're targeting us like this, but it sort of looks a bit fishy. We haven't played yeah. finals in eight years. Our biggest role model, right, a player that we brought to the club to be the face of the L team and to bring the spirits and vibes up, is getting given a, a unfair thing. You can't say it's not fair. They don't know what the truth is, and this story is getting blown out of proportion. Yeah. I just hope, like, I hope they're not right. I hope I hope it's, I hope I hope it's, it's wrong, wrong because and I hope it Fox would... goes out there and absolutely demolishes this whatever company or whatever newspaper outlet rubbish that just wants to spread false information. Right, and if they're right, they're right, whatever. But if they're wrong, it's a shit go, bro. Because you can't keep targeting that community, and you can't keep targeting our club. It's it, enough. I yeah, I'm just gonna. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So no, nah, it it just puts a bad sort of mental morale on the team as well. Yeah, yeah. like we're you playing know? finals in eight years, bro. We're so excited, and then you're gonna fucking make it a week about a drug test that yeah. was failed. It's so, that it, was positive and negative I'm, and positive. Listen, man, they're not listening, bro. The boys are not listening. They're not. They're not. They're right, locked if, in. And bro. I hope Josh plays. But listen, man, if it. If it is true, then it's again, it's, it's been a really rough four, five, six weeks for the indigenous community, in my opinion, if it is true, with like everything that happened with Latron Mitchell, everything, like the, all the noise about Sol and Cabo, like, I would, it just, I feel so bad for them, bro. And I really hope that it's not true, and I really hope that they can, you know, as a community, help turn things they're around. They're a big part of our Because these bro. guys are the, these are the, role, the, ones, the role models, bro. All, Listen, man, I'm, I've grown up around Redford my whole life. My grandparents, they still live there, bro. The and whole... I've been there. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> Listen, yeah, he's been there, all right? My, my Taita and Shido love this guy. But, man, at the end of the day, like, you... I used to run around in Redford over like it was, like it was my, my house, you know what I mean? And every one of these kids, all they would do is look up to guys like GI, bro. And I know all of the new generation is looking up to these guys, and I just hope that... Again, it's not another one of their role models that is is making a fool out of himself. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I hope it's not true because you know how much we all love Arakan. I love and Fox. My opinion, I, even if man, it's true, I love Fox, and bro. And I'm very worried that if it is true, I don't think he'll be a Bulldogs player for much longer because I know that Gus and and Soraldo, the way they are, would have a, like pretty much a zero tolerance. And hearing how Gus was speaking about the Troll Mitchell situation, I would I'm I'm interested I'm interested to see how he handles this one and I'm worried it could mean the end of Josh at the dogs if it is true but well that'll be a sad day for all of us be a we, sad love, day. we love Fox we think he suits the club came out a couple of weeks ago saying how much he loves the club and he wants to I want him to stay basically bro. like retire there yeah I want him to stay man. I want him to stay there and uh, just someone that I really like I, I enjoy him um, for our team and I enjoy him as a, as a supporter for us bro well, and I hope it's I hope it's I hope BS. it is bro and then it will just make these news outlets so much less like, wrong, <laughs> so much so less much wrong, so so much less believable, bro. You know what I mean? And yeah. it's like imagine reporting like if it is wrong. Imagine reporting something that wasn't that you didn't even fact check, bro. Yeah, it's not so fair. I, 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 look, I don't think Gus would put that tweet out if it wasn't legit. So shout Hopefully. out, Gus, shout out, Adokar, please. Keep Allah, your please head up. Be all right. Hope he's all right. And and, and, and I want. I want Josh Adokar to run out if it is false and he does play on Sunday. I want him to run yeah, out bro. and I want him to visualize an attack. <laughs> visualize an attack. A news reporter's head on every one of those you manly players. You can do it. You can do it. Visualize an attack. Boys, anything you want to speak about? Fred, I want to hear you say in, uh, Marky Mark's name, please. Mark. Look at the camera. Don't look Marky at me. Mark. No one need to bro. Bro, you well, actually nailed it. You want to know why I nailed it? Nase? Nawanganita no Nita Nase. Nawanganita Nase. No one. Nase. One sec, one of his, bro. No, no, sure. I did say it. No one Nita Nita You did, you did say but, it. But, but the man himself taught me how to say it. Who? So, Mark Nawanganita Nita He taught you? Yeah. What, where? <laughs> when I put the video out saying I need help, what, shout out to one of the boys. I'm not going to name him by name. Said, I'm literally with Mark now. He's cracking up. And then he sent a voice message <laughs> That's telling me how to say it. And then I practice off of that. So it's Nawang 
You know, no, like Si Sawana? No, no, yeah, Nawong. Nawong. Yeah. Anita. Anita. Wasay. 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 Wasay, yeah. Nawong, Anita, Wasay. There you yes, go. Yes, let's go. I love it. Boys, you want to speak about anything else before we head off? I don't think there's... I'm going to be at the game on Saturday, Sunday. Did you get tickets? Where are you sitting? Uh, I've got to get tickets tonight, but Ooh, I'm still... One... There's it's so many, bro. It's not going to sell out, bro. <laughs> 80,000. Okay. Yeah, I, saw, I, I looked at tickets before. If so you're like, buying in bulk, then it's hard. If you're buying a single ticket, it's easy. And all, yeah, and all, I, I, I'm, I, I'm going to buy a few, hopefully. I don't know if it's going to be behind the goalpost or gold. I don't know yet, but also I public hate tickets behind the goalpost. Mm. But that's where the Bulldogs fan zone is. And I'm like, do I want to sit in the Bulldogs fan nah, zone? Buy the kennel, bro. Buy the kennel. It's on the, the, the kennel is behind. There's no kennel. The no, kennel no, is no, the, the kennel. Bulldog. It says it in the thing. 103. The kennel is this big. Yeah, you'll get one ticket in there. You'll yeah. be with Winston and everyone. No, no, Winston, Winston's sitting in the fan zone behind oh, the goalpost. Oh, okay. I don't want to sit behind the goalpost. Because like, A-Court's the worst stadium in the world to sit behind the goalpost. So yeah. I sort of want to get center field. I actually do want to talk about something. Just the pricing that the NRL has put on some of these tickets. I've had a lot of people complain about the pricing. Man, I've been sitting in the same seat all season. You know, this is a membership for a normal person that would cost... Maybe two hundred, two hundred odd dollars. Are you talking about the Penrith? Pen, this is for the Penrith game in particular, but I've heard complaints all around the, all around. <coughs> but why are we charging eighty five dollars for for one of these games? Like, and this is one of the seats that I've been sitting in. You know, it's not. You? Uh, it's not the gold in the middle at the fifty meter line. It's it's about ten meter line in the try line area. Yeah, but. $85 for an adult. That is ridiculous. The, they go up to 110 if you're going into the yeah. middle. Well, I gotta, is it going to sell out? It's going to sell out, yeah. yeah then sell then, out. then the, but, you answered your question. Why yeah. wouldn't they? But, but why wouldn't they? I know. And, 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 and it's because your, your stadium especially seats, seats like, what, 18,000? 21,000. At the end of the day, man, like, the supply... The supply, I, demand's gonna make demand is high. Supply is gonna make. The I, I understand that, but for someone like me, I, I I've been going to all the games this season. That like you know the money isn't an issue for me, but this like for families, bro. Right. Like yeah, yeah, look the bulldog. Listen, like, man, like, listen, listen, bulldog the NRL doesn't care about families. The NRL cares about cha-ching, Give yeah. me money. Man, yeah. look, just my take for I leave. But the Bulldogs game, I bought a family ticket because I'm taking you know some family members with me. I think it was 174, bro, for four people. And I'm sitting, I got good seats. I didn't get shit seats. I yeah. got, like, the, not the halfway line, like, exactly what you said, a bit further down, 103, so. Yeah. But, well, I want to get halfway line, so I'm, as soon as I get home, we're going to try to get some. Yeah, but, man, look, I, I think it's, it's if there is... It's 95 a ticket, but <coughs> yeah. I'm probably still going to get a family. Yeah, so, yeah I, I just think, it, you know, I think it's a bit of a rule, so. right? that's, that's that's not, We don't want to complain about anything. Let's enjoy it. I love you all. When the footy season is over, inshallah, we're going to do some... I want to do some YouTube NRL content, right? I want to get into that sort of world where we can just make some good clips up, 10, 15 minute videos where we just answer some questions and Fred can hit up his nostalgia, uh, the nostalgia section in his brain and let out all the things that he's got in his brain rugby league. And, and, and one, I got one more thing. If the dogs do lose, yes, I will sing a meow, 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 meow for my meow. own team. Give it uh, to him for the trailer quickly. Love no. <laughs> meow, 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 <laughs> meow. <laughs> Meow, meow. Shut up! We're, we're doing an outro. Meow, we're doing an outro. Meow. This is gonna fade to black. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Fuck dragons, you bunch of useless Frogs. dogs. Chokers, absolute chokers. Zach Lomax was crying tears of joy. <laughs> He finally left his mid ass team to go to another mid ass team. And then he was a flog to Julian Ali, <laughs> you mean person. What was being rude to Julian Ali? He didn't take a photo with him, bro. He didn't and, take and, a photo with him. I, I reckon it's on, me personally, I think it was because he was being petty about him leaving. Him Julian, leaving. I love you, brother. We love you, Julian, we love bro. You, Julian, Flexi, I love you. Freddie, I love you. Uh, I, I tolerate you. <laughs> I told her you Liam Martin. <laughs> Fuck, you look like Liam Martin, bro. Oh, oh. All these fresh fade, bro. Very fresh. You got a fresh fade on him, bro. Tell him, tell him, I'm Jinny. I'm Jinny. <laughs>